Hey, I turned on the television just to watch the evening news. What I saw made me want to crawl right through that tube. They were talking about a wedding, but they only showed two men. So I fired off an email with an invite just for them. Come on down to the farm, come on out to the barn. You won't see two roosters walking arm in arm. They couldn't make a chicken, they don't have an egg to hatch. When God said, love your brother, I don't think he meant like that. I commenced to tell them how Two mares can't make a stallion And two bulls can't make a cow Well, that takes a male and female For the species to go on There'll be no reproduction If the plumbing is all wrong So come on down to the farm Come on out to the barn You won't see two roosters Walking arm in arm They couldn't make a chicken They don't have an egg to hatch when God said, love your brother, I don't think he meant like that. Now we used to teach our children all about the birds and bees. Now the world is telling them, do anything you please. We need to get back to the Bible, back to the gospel truth. Cause a million happy ganders never gonna make a single goose. Come on down to the farm, come on out to the barn. You won't see two roosters walking arm in arm. They couldn't make a chicken, they don't have an egg to hatch. When God said, love your brother, I don't think he meant like that. When God said, love your brother, I don't think he meant like that. It ain't normal. I don't care what to say, it just ain't normal. It's not okay to be gay. It's not okay to be a homo. You shouldn't live that way. God said it's a real big no no. Say it again. It's not okay to be gay. Look up for yourself now. The Bible says in Leviticus 18:22, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. And I really did look up that word abomination uh, 17 years ago now after I came out of homosexuality. Abomination means enormous sin, morally disgusting, dirty, and perverted. And you know God created Adam and Eve, and not Adam and Steve. So if you're in a homosexual relationship, you need to leave. Because it's not okay to be gay. It's not okay to be a homo. You shouldn't live that way. God said it's a real big no-no. Second verse. Testimony time, I can tell you from personal experience, homosexuality is an unhappy, unholy, unnatural, unsatisfying lifestyle. And I know a lot of people thinking, judge not, judge not, thou shalt not judge. Uh, number one, that's not one of the Ten Commandments. Number two, judge not lest ye be judged. Jesus didn't stop there when he said, judge not. He went on to say, take the log out of your eye first, then you'll be able to see clearly to help your brother with a little speck in his eye. 
verse 5, he says, hypocrite. He was talking to hypocrites. People who knew judging was calling something right or wrong. They thought it was wrong to judge, and they would still say, you're wrong for judging. Now, if you think it's wrong to judge, and judging is calling something right or wrong, what are you when you say, you're wrong for judging? You're a hypocrite, because you're doing what you think it's wrong to do, judging. That's the kind of people Jesus was talking to in Matthew 7. You gotta read on all the verses now. Just don't take one verse off. Take the log out of your eye, which I did. You repent of the sin, you forsake it. Then you can judge rightly, like Jesus said to do in John 7:24. Judge rightly. Now I can say without hypocrisy that it's not.